just a quick message before we start. We're still accepting audition videos, and we may uh, not actually be having a deadline until we find the right person. So just please, if you can get an audition video to us, that would be great. Um, take your time, but I mean, don't wait forever, because we, if we find the right person, we'll, <laughs> we'll probably be taking them. So please, please, please get us your audition videos if you want to be a part of the channel. That would be great. Thanks. Hi guys, guys, it's Pixie, and today I'm going to be doing a review on two dolls, my custom house and Jai Hanny, Amelia, and my Dolmores I will love sonnet. But before I start, I just want to say uh, happy Hina Matsuri to everyone in Japan who celebrates the holiday as well as uh, anyone else. Uh, for those who don't know, Hina Matsuri, it's, uh, it's, it basically means doll festival. So, if you haven't taken out your dolls today, please do and spend a little time with them. So, I'm just going to be going over basically um, their joint systems and what I like and dislike about them, just so you can get a good view on what you'll be getting yourself into if you decide to buy one of these dolls. So I'm going to start with Amelia and then I'll go to Sonnet and I'll, I'll do it in parts like head, torso, arms, etc. So, First we'll start with Amelia. Her head, the head cap is really basic. It's an old style head cap, no magnets. Um, actually, some of the Ange Eye dolls from Custom House do have magnet heads, but I found that since they've uh, been really behind on orders, a lot of them have just had the normal hook head, you can see here, uh, which is kind of annoying because of the elastic. It's not as bad as it looks, but I mean, you won't lose the head cap so easily in this case. And I really don't mind it. It's okay. Uh, with Sonnet, she has a faceplate system. So the seam is actually right here along, right behind her ears. And her faceplate basically just slides up and off. You can see there's two little notches there. And they fit into you can see the this is what would be the S hook and there's two little bumps here and then two at the top of the head cap and there's also a magnet at the very top you can just basically you just slide the head cap the face plate rather down and it's it's a little less secure than this system but it's really easy and for putting eyes in and eyelashes it's a godsend it really is her eyes and eyelashes were ten times easier to put in than hers because you're not working with such a deep surface and you can, rather than taking the back of the head off the doll, you're taking the face off and you can hold it in your hand and work on it, which is a little easier. Uh, for the neck, she has a pretty good range of movement. However, I have swayed her. Before I swayed her, her movements, her head would always flip to the side like this. So, to have one of these dolls, you pretty much need to suede it, or it will really not pose at all for you. But she has a very good range of movement. And it's just hot glue suading, really easy to do. We have a tutorial on it that Lex did. So, check that out. Uh, she is not suede. But her range of movement, I'd say it's, it's decent side to side, but back and forth, it's kind of limited. It's not as good as her. Uh... I don't think I need to suede her neck. Her head stays pretty well any way I put it. So that's pretty nice. It's it's not bad. She just can have a bit more range, I think. Um, I'm doing this quick because there's only 10 minutes also. Her torso, I just have to kind of... I apologize for jolly nudity, but I think I have to remove her bloomers for you to see properly. Okay, so Amelia's torso is in two parts. And actually, you'll notice that Custom House sells two sizes of YoSD size types. Uh, the Ange Eyes and the Petite Eye. Petite Eye is not a proper YoSD height. Ange Eye is. Ange Eye dolls are 27 centimeters, and Volks YoSDs are 26. Petite Eyes are 
I think they're 30 actually. And the nice thing about the Angis is they have this two part torso system. And it does have a bit, I believe there's a lock inside of it actually that can kind of keep it up like that. Uh, the petite eyes don't have this. The yo-yo, no, not yo-yo, she's a model. Uh, bizu eyes, the bizu eyes do not have this. And I, I think the bigger dolls do, but I'm not sure. But she's the only small one from Custom House that has this, and by far, I'd say she has the best joint system out of them, too. Um, the Sonnet, hers is also a two-part system, but instead of at her waist, it's here at her ribs. She also has a lock. Right now you can see she's slouched, and she can also pop straight up. This is good for standing, and when she sits, you can see she might fall back a bit with her back straight, so you just pull up and forward, and she'll slouch for you, and it locks like that. Uh, I really like her torso. It's, I mean, the range of movement is minimal, but really I really do like that locking joint she sits a lot more naturally with that uh, and the design of it I think is really nice too she's got a very nice normal figure and the small chest is kind of a it's it depends what you like but I think it's a nice touch and it suits the body size it's not like overly exaggerated like a lot of dolls are uh, 